Good afternoon and welcome. I'm Sister Maureen Shaughnessy, the General Superior for the Sisters of Charity, and it's my privilege and my privilege, uh, pleasure to welcome you today. We are glad to finally be able to have our celebration of our Seton Associate commitments to receive our new associates and to accept those who have decided to make a lifetime commitment. We as a congregation are so blessed to have you join us in the mission to help make God's love known in our world, to be signs and witnesses of God's love to others. We welcome your guests and your sponsor to this prayer service. This year marks the 30th anniversary of the establishment of the position of a full-time director of Seton Associates and the office for Seton Associates. I was privileged to be in leadership at that time and worked closely with Sister Julie Scanlon, who was the first full-time director. Rosemary succeeded her in 2009 and served us very well as a director for 10 years. I want to take this opportunity to thank Rosemary for all that she has done. We look forward to having the actual celebration of this anniversary in 2021. As Seton Associates, you live out in your particular place, in your home, family, workplace, the mission of charity by your words and actions. You spread the good news of God's love every day to all whom you encounter. Some of you may actually work with Sisters of Charity in places where we minister. Whatever your circumstance, together we are a force for good in our world today. And together we can do more than we could do as individuals. Mother Elizabeth Ann Seaton would be pleased to see the development of this movement in our time. She urged us to meet our grace, to respond to God's call generously and wholeheartedly. We thank you for joining with us and we will begin our prayer service. Let us all pray together. We gather in the presence, in the presence of our triune God in praise and thanksgiving for the gifts of faith and grace bestowed so generously upon us and to welcome the commitments of candidates for Seton Associate and Lifetime Associate of the Sisters of Charity of St. Elizabeth. May our divine creator bestow upon them immeasurable blessings and grace to recognize and respond to all they are called to do. May Jesus the Christ walk alongside them and guide them in gospel living. May the spirit imbue deeply within them the charism of charity that they may be a beacon of light and charity to all. Sister Mary Ann Tracy will now read our scriptural reading. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. You are the light of the world. A city set on a mountain cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and then put them under a bushel basket. It is set on a lampstand where it gives light to all in the house. Just so, your light must shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. This is the word of the Lord. Amen. 
Lisa Guerri, who is the facilitator of our Seton Associate Group in New Haven, Connecticut, is here to read the prayers of the faithful. The response is, hear us, O Lord. We ask our divine creator to smile upon those gathered here today and to bless the Sisters of Charity of St. Elizabeth and all that those they touch in charity through their mission and ministries. This we pray, hear us, O Lord. We ask our divine creator to bless the Seton Associates who walk with the sisters in their mission. This we pray. Hear us, O Lord. We ask our divine creator to bless and hold close our candidates for Seton Associate and Lifetime Seton Associate. May they be the light of charity to those they encounter where they live, work, play, and minister to others. This we pray. Hear us, O Lord. We ask our divine creator to bless their sponsors, their families, and the spiritual friendships they share. This we pray. Hear us, O Lord. We call upon our founders, St. Vincent de Paul, St. Louise de Marillac, St. Elizabeth Ann Seton, and Mother Mary Xavier Mahican to guide them and all of us present to do more as we go forth to meet our grace for God, for God alone. This we pray, hear us, O Lord. May we walk in the footsteps of those sisters and Seton associates who led the way and who have passed into the eternal holy realm. This we pray, hear us, O Lord. And let us all pray together. We pray for the gifts of the Spirit so that we may walk humbly, love tenderly, and act justly through Jesus Christ. Amen. Will the candidates for Seton Associate please stand? Sister Maureen, I present to you our candidates for acceptance as Seton Associates. John Catullo of Basking Ridge, sponsored by Sister Julie Scanlon and Sister Maeve McDermott. Megan Lisa Knight of Denville, sponsored by Sister Barbara Conroy. Barbara Morrison of Chester, Connecticut, sponsored by Sister Ann Matthew LaRusso. James O'Hearn of Convent Station, sponsored by Seton Associate Patty Desmond. Suzanne Palumbo of Rawway, sponsored by Sister Patricia Menner. Vivian Piscopo of Madison, sponsored by Sister Elizabeth Kremp. Reverend Anthony Randazzo of Westfield, sponsored by Rosemary Carroll. Claudette Scutari of Glen Ridge, sponsored by Seton Associate JoLynn Grimpecki. Um, Roberta Warner is ill, and her daughter, Carla Reinhardt, who is a nurse, is taking care of her, and unfortunately, they could not be with us today. Claudette, Carla. I did Claudette. Did, no, Carla. Carla, yes. Yeah, she's the one who's the nurse. Okay. Oh, okay. Candidates, why have you come here today? All together. How will you share in this mission?
We welcome you as a Seton Associate of the Sisters of Charity of St. Elizabeth. As long as charity, humility, and simplicity exist in you, one might say, the company of charity is still alive. Invite them to come up and get their pen. I would ask you to come forward and we will be presenting you with the pin as a symbol of the commitment that you have made. Your light is not hidden under a bushel basket, but is now part of the spirit of the company of charity. John. Mm -hmm. John. Thank you. Well done. Congratulations. Thank you, sister. Vivian. God's blessings. Oh, you Suzanne. have to come this way, I think. Yeah. Suzanne. Suzanne. God bless. Thank you. Thank you. Megan. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless. Barbara. Barbara, God blessings. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jim. Thank you, sister. Thank you. Father Anthony. Yeah, thank you. God bless and we're privileged to have you with us. Thank you. And we say and congratulate all of our new Seton Associates. Candidates for lifetime seat and associate, please stand. Sister Maureen, I present to you our seat and associates who wish to make a lifetime commitment today. Linda Amitrano of Cedar Knowles, sponsored by Sister Mary Ellen Burden. Maria Capizzoli of East Hanover, sponsored by Sister Mary Ann Tracy. Marie Noel of Chatham, sponsored by Sister Elena Francis Arminio. Teresa Nolan of Bloomfield, sponsored by Sister Mark Kilo. Olivia Bols Berla Olson of Red Bank, sponsored by Sister Mary Fallon, and also Seton Associate Julian Krempecki. And Jessica Velasquez Julka of Newark, sponsored by Sister Mary Ann Tracy. With the lifetime commitment you are about to make, we, the Sisters of Charity of St. Elizabeth, are assured that the charism of charity will move forward wherever you are in the world. How will you continue to live out the charism of charity in your life? We are blessed and honored that you have willingly chosen to make a lifetime commitment as a Seton associate. Our mission will continue to be enriched by your faithfulness in living the charism of charity each day. Please accept this pin as a symbol of the lifetime commitment you have made and continue to proclaim the gospel of Jesus by your life. And I ask you to please come forward. Pardon? Who gets the candles? Everybody, yeah. Okay. I, I I will announce it if you are you're welcome to. That's great. Okay, the first that person. You want me to? Yeah. The first person is Olivia.
Congratulations and blessings. Thank you so much. So really over there. Yeah. Marie. Yeah, I know. I know Marie and I will Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you. So much. God bless you. Maria. I know Maria too. God bless. Mm -hmm. Linda. Linda. Teresa. Mm -hmm. um, the, um, Jessica didn't arrive yet, but I said when she arrives, she can make her phone. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay. And again, congratulations to all our new lifetime Seton associates. have two new elements to our commitment, rite of commitment. The first is a candle lighting. Our general superior, Sister Maureen Shaughnessy, will light a candle symbolizing the light of charity. I ask Jolyn Krempecki and Sister Patricia Menner to come forward. Sister Patricia and Jolyn are sponsors and they will light your candles. So would all the new Seton Associates and the new Lifetime Seton Associates please stand. This makes me homesick. Mm. This makes me homesick. <laughs> This lit candle symbolizes the light of charity. I pass the light on to you, sisters and Seton Associates, and Seton Associates, as you pass the light of charity on to our candidates. And I ask the sponsors then to pray. Okay. Okay. As a Seton. Together, please, as a Seton associate. No, no, we're done. Thank you. Now you're going to do the okay. counselors. We're now going to anoint you. And counselors, Sister Judy Mertz and Sister Elizabeth Kremp will anoint each of you with holy chrism.
You were, you were anointed with chrism at baptism, and you are being anointed anew in the charism of charity. I would ask our Seton Associates now to extinguish their candles. And I would invite everybody else to stand and join in praying the hymn of St. Vincent de Paul. We're restricted in our singing, so we will pray together. Here I am, O oh God, I come to do your will. I come to do your will. Let us love God, not with words alone, but with the strength of our arms and the sweat of our brow. For love is creative and love is enduring, even to the end of time, even to the end of time. Amen. And again, we congratulate all of you.
before you go, uh, did Jessica arrive? Did Jessica? Okay, we were looking for Jessica. She was gonna arrive a little late. We're going to leave out the front door, the church. We're gonna swing left and go down to the portico and enter the mother house by the reception desk. You all know where that is. And we have a wonderful security guard there and he's gonna take your temperature. And I'm sure you're all flushed with the spirit right now. Um, and then we will go to room 110 and have a little, a little party. And we have, we have three places you can go. You can, get your, you can get your goodies in room 110 and stay there, or you can go to the plaza room, or you could go out on the plaza patio. Um, we're delighted to have you here, and um, we already feel enriched by having you as part of us. So thank you so much.